So what's up guys, in my do not model cars video I scratched the surface of not having to model cars. This actually also applies to this microphone, this phone, this mouse, this keyboard, this camera, this tripod and even to this apartment. You will not have to model it, you will receive CAD data because if it's a big company that produces their products in a factory, the production files will be based on 3D files but CAD data and not polygons. Uh, so you can't really use it in Blender, so you have to convert it. I won't be talking about cars in this video because cars involve big pipelines, a lot of people, teams, custom tools, uh, software like Delta Gen, Delta Batch, Fred, stuff like that. I think it's a bit too much and won't really help you, but what will help you is if a company like Logitech comes to you, says, here's our new mouse, we like your style, can you animate this mouse? Most people might think, oh, I have to model the mouse first, but at least for me, I know that there's some people out there that model stuff, but for me, I always get the CAD data, especially from these type of companies. Always, 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 I will get CAD data, usually in form of a dot step. So uh, how do you convert this file? This video is not sponsored or paid or anything. This is really just my personal preference, and there's a lot of solutions, and a lot of people might fight about different solutions, so this video is really just my personal solution that I like to use. Um, it's not Fusion 360, it's not FreeCAD, and also it's not a add-on for Blender. These are also solutions that you could do. My solution is actually Moi 3D. It's not super cheap, but for it's like for what I at least use it for and how much money um, this software already generated, it's very, very cheap uh, for me because it's also a one-time payment. So it's a great solution. So that's what this video is about, more 3D. So let's jump right into more 3D. So this is what the file looks like. You're gonna receive in most or even all cases, in my case, uh, a .step file. This is a NURB based CAD data file, it has nothing to do with polygons. I used the file that you guys can download yourself and try as well. This is it. Uh, I thought it looked pretty cool and thought this was a good test. The other thing you'll need is Moi 3D. Moi 3D, there's a trial, otherwise it costs money. I'm actually not too sure how much it was, but it was like, I think around $300 or something. Um, so we're in Moi and we will open this file. And also one thing why you or why I don't use Fusion 360 or FreeCAD and stuff like that. The cool thing about Moi is you can export quads and not crazy super meshes. And also you can just easily change the resolution of the model. So that's pretty much the main reason I started using Moi at some point in my life. Uh, the software looks super old school, but it's actually very, very nice. And I also know a lot of people that actually use it for modeling. So this is gonna take a few seconds. So uh, here it is. Uh, sometimes it has some stuff that you might be able to delete. I actually haven't checked this model out. I'm opening this like for the first time. Um, so it looks good, looks like a model. So now we will select everything with control A, go to file and then export and then wherever to desktop. I don't know, Moto. Um, you can do FBX, sometimes Blender has issues reading FBX, so I'd recommend using a OBJ. So save, and now the best part about Moi is you can change the resolution of the export and you can export quads. These are two things that I really somehow wasn't able to find in any of the other software in this price range or free range, um, so that's pretty much why I use Moi 3D. As you can see, this will be a lot of loading and stuff. This is also a big boy model, still great solution. So once it's done, we will click, you can change some stuff by the way. I usually uh, just have default. Sometimes I uh, weld the vertices. You just have to, it really depends on the product, but I'm just gonna keep it on default. I also won't boost it because my PC will probably die on this motorcycle and will take too long. So we're just gonna press okay on default settings, but you can play around with the settings. As mentioned, there's a trial version. And also as mentioned, I'm really not trying to sell this product. This is really just my personal preference and what I found worked best over the years. So we're in Blender, by the way, uh, what I also do sometimes, but rarely actually use only for proxies. There's a dot step importer for Blender as add-on, uh, but yeah, in a actual like project, usually it doesn't work out well. Um, so now we will import the OBJ. So F3 import. So now we're gonna go to the desktop. Here it is. We're gonna click import. So there it is. Usually the scale is off. You shouldn't just zoom out. You should uh, use 
the correct scale. So S.1, S.1. Uh, motorcycle, is it two meters long? Maybe. S.1? No, that would be too small. So this seems to be the correct size. And yeah, basically we're just going to line it out. If you want a quick <laughs> rendering tutorial, uh, here you got it. I usually just do something like this. Bevel the edge like this. I'm going to create a area light. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm getting sidetracked once again as usual. Do a quick little render and there you have it. And actually on this model, you actually have some colors. This is not always the case. This model actually also has some materials. Also not always the case, uh, but yeah, this looks like typical CAD. So you will have to set up the shaders, specular to dot five and so on. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. That's how at least I do it. <laughs> have fun. So that's it for today. Now you kind of know what I use. I don't know if you already knew about the software. If not, then uh, definitely give it a try. They also have a trial version that you can uh, test out if it works for you. Otherwise, if you really want to drive the free track, um, use free CAD, but I really don't recommend it quality wise. Really recommend Moi. And also I hope I cleared up a little bit uh, this CAD, NURB, Blender, Polygon confusion. Uh, I never intended to make you guys model stuff in NURBS and CAD and stuff like that. That's not what I do. Uh, but just kind of make you understand that you can convert these files and that there also isn't really a difference between manufacturing and polygons. You can just use the manufacturing files. And at least on a German um, position, I can't go to a client and waste their money by telling them we have to remodel their model. Like that's not a common scenario. The common scenario is that their model will be converted, animated, shaded, rendered, and they will be selling their product afterwards, generating more money, hopefully. And hopefully that will make me money. So that's what I do. Um, and modeling can be a big money eater that most clients won't be willing to pay for if not necessary. Uh, but also keep in mind, soft body stuff uh, like a towel and stuff like that, uh, what I personally never do because it's just not worth the time and money, um, then you would have to model it. But any hard surface stuff, this camera, perfect example, you will receive CAD data to render. Uh, so that's it for today and goodbye.